You know, they probably should have added the crackling sound of a fire. It would make it a little bit more cozy. <laughs> but hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play. I'm out here in the wilderness right now. I took quite the hike out uh, to get some trees or logs because I didn't really want to deforest my area around my home. Um, so I kind of walked out quite a bit. I'm actually out here by the ocean, if you know where that is. It's kind of east on our map. Um, made a little campfire. <laughs> you know what I realized as well? These composters are going to be really nice because if you didn't notice, we are getting sap... I believe saplings will work. I'm not entirely for sure, but we are getting apples. And look, they dropped... Uh, they added it where leaves drop sticks now. That's really cool. That's going to be really handy. But as I was saying, saplings and apples, when you're doing like foresting and whatnot now, you can bring a composter along and that's another way to get bone meal. You can just keep piling it in here, which I wish... Is it work yet? No. <laughs> I wish it worked. Or am I doing something wrong? I really wish it would have worked. Or maybe... So it's just not... App no, it just doesn't work. <laughs> um, but I think I got what I wanted. Actually, no, I didn't. I got two and a half stacks of logs. I'm going to keep cutting down some trees. Look what I came across, guys. Steps down here, killing a zombie, and I'm like, whoa, remember this? There he is, the glitched pupper that's always going to sit here. Uh, by the way, we've had glitched pup uh, pup dogs spawn out here like just like this before. Wait, you have a collar now. Can I stand you up? No, he's still glitched. And a lot of you always say put a water bucket underneath him. That never, never works, as you can see. He'll just sit back. Okay, well, um, it works now. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, but I can't make him sit. Yeah, he's just like super glitched. Last time water buckets didn't work. Um, but last time we found the dogs out here, I pushed them all the way home and had to like put slabs before blocks to push them up the slabs. Oh no, he's standing up. Will he run off? I don't know. He is so... Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Look what I brought. Please. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I don't know what dog... This could be Pablo for all we know. And you OG viewers, you know who Pablo is. Pablo is the first of the first. Like, episode... Uno's type of episodes. Oh, we're bringing him home. Uh, we don't know what his name will be. Welcome home, old pal. I don't know which one you are. We've had many dogs disappear in this world. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. I don't... Can you sit now? Nope. He's still in the collar? Yeah, so... You're just going to chill there in the collar. I don't even think he'll move on his own. Oh, really? Come. Come hither. Nope. He is... Oh. He is moving. Well, he's just going to be on a leash his whole life. <laughs> um, we should name him something, though. Maybe A for anonymous, because he could be any of the dogs we've had in the past. Yeah, we'll probably do something like that. But today. Today, we have a project we're working on, and that is the new section of the house. I know we have plenty of other popular projects to work on right now, such as the training course, such as we started and then kind of... It flopped. It's just, I, I get so distracted with other things. I'm like, oh, I want to do this now. No, now I want to do this. Uh, but now we have multiple things to go to when we get bored of one, such as the factory. <laughs> Don't talk about that. Uh, so here, this is the building ground that we got to work with. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I've looked at a few other areas, such as on top of the mountain in front of a hill, but I don't think I should build in front of the house because that's like considered our front yard. And we should build backwards. So this is the best area. We're going to get rid of this tree here. And I've thought of something. I built something cool. Let me show you. Welcome, everybody, to my test world, if you can hear me. <laughs> uh, this is... Okay. Uh, but yeah, here is my... Oh, God. Here is my <laughs> clock tower. That I think goes well in this weather. <laughs> um, yeah. What the heck, man? Alright, that's gotta stop. Oh my lord, have mercy. <laughs> what the heck was that? Let's just be thankful that that wasn't a storm we had in our Let's Play. Imagine that. Our whole house would be gone. <laughs> um, okay, here's what I came up with. If you follow me on Twitter, I posted this on there. I still kind of want to implement uh, an, like a circular tower design like that, which we still may will because this is going to be a big part of the house. But this is the tower I came up with. I think 
it might be a little too short though. I might want to add another section. As you can see, this is a section, that's one, and then that's one. I want to add another block section to make it a little bit taller, and I think I want this to be the corner of the house. Um, the only problem I'm having is deciding where to put it, because right here, I think, okay, I want to get rid of that right there, so I think that is as far as the bridge will extend, and I think this is where this house will start. Oh, this is so hard. I, I want the tower to be right here, but I don't know if this is a good spot. Like, can you imagine a, a big clock tower right there? It just seems so close to everything else. The other corners don't really seem that reasonable either. I think I just need to start building and just go with it. Use my go with it method. This thing makes that weird heartbeat sound. It always freaks me out. I put a red glass on I think yeah, it kind of looks cool with the the sky at least kind of makes it more of like a halloween theme um okay so this is this actually took me a while for some reason i'm still trying to figure out where exactly i want this tower to go and i think this this will be all right because like i said i want it to be in the corner of the house um again this is this is all my house it's just this part of the house i think this is actually going to be the living section of my house uh, even though i just put my bedroom in that tree house uh this is going to be more of I don't know, just be another, actually it might be a guest house, who knows? I'm just building a big place, guys. <laughs> so, this is going to be the tower right here. Can you imagine it, what you saw in that creative world? Maybe one section higher, I haven't decided that fully yet. But right there, I think that'll be good, because this is a good intersection where you'll always see, you'll see two clock faces on each side. Um, I'm going to put them on all four sides. And this will be good. The clock tower actually sticks out a bit from the original house, so... The main door of the house is going to start around the middle of the clock tower, which is going to be somewhere over here. So this wall right here, we're not actually going to get rid of. Um, we're actually going to build a staircase up through this wall that will lead up to the main doors of the house. So we're going to have multiple entrances, such as the sky tower, the main entrance, the back door, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if we're going to get started on the whole house today. I just want to try to finish this watchtower, so let's get building. Okay, after building the base here, or the first base actually, I think it'll fit fine. It seems almost as if it's a little bit too far this way, but I kind of like how it's on the edge, because that's kind of how like some city streets are, is like all the buildings are really close to the edge. I kind of like it. I think this will go fine here. Um, but looking at it right here as the first base, imagining a second and then a third, we might want to go for four tall. Uh, this is going to be difficult, though, designing the th another section. I'll try my best, though. I'm sitting here building the clock face of my clock tower here. And I, I saw something cool right over there. And I was going to start it and be like, hey, look what I'm building. And then show you what I found, but they just despawned. I'm so sad. Why does this have to happen to me? I had one of the tra roaming traders spawn on my grass right there, and there were two llamas. And they were there this whole time. And I'm like, you know what? They'll stay there. They'll be there until I show them. You know, as soon as I start recording, they despawned. That sucks. All right. <laughs> Do I have enough for this? I'm trying to finish this up here as quick as I can. Man, I really wanted that roaming trader. Not too long ago, I had a llama spawn right over here. What was that? The mushroom and uh it was just the llama nothing else i don't know what happened maybe the other two despawned it's kind of annoying how they can despawn just like that especially in front of your eyes i saw them disappear <laughs> uh maybe we can find one out here maybe oh gosh it's happening again how many are after me i haven't slept in many nights ups oh, just one. Ooh, that looks kind of Ooh, look at that <laughs> that's kind of spooky in that nice guy come get up I, I killed the other one by throwing my trident at it from afar. Oh, God. Trident, please. Trident, give me my trident. Give me my trident. Oh, there we go. Gah. Oh, I missed. Oh. Man, I'm just taking a stroll out here. Ow. And two more just spawned. I didn't know they just keep spawning. I thought it was just like one group. In a certain time of night and then no more spawn but no that's not the case here couldn't find any more oh well i'm sure want to show up again but once i find them i think i want to put a name tag on them so i can instantly make them mine. i love the outfits they wear too so i'm gonna try to put them in our house somewhere that would be cool actually if we can make part of the house like a trading center 
where we have, oh yeah, like a big room like this, we can have little market stalls in, and he can be in one of them. And if we find good traders over at the prison, we can bring them over. Anyway, uh, let's move on to this now. For the watch hands, or clock hands, I want to use black concrete, but I'm going to do that later. I got the white face finished. I know I said I was going to make it go up one higher, and I'm still kind of struggling if I want to, but, okay, actually did it in uh, creative. Ah, here we go. I didn't build the roof because that's a pain in the doodle to make. What the heck is that up there struggling? What even is that? Oh, I bet it's, uh, <laughs> ah, the, the guy that was killing me. All right, so that's what I did right there. This is the one we're going to make, and this is the one I was going to make at another layer, but I don't know. It just looks too tall and skinny, if you know what I mean. There's not enough going on on the sides here. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go with that one right there. So for this roof design, I went for all spruce with a few oak accents. Now, I'm, I don't know why I've been going for that more often, as you can see. Oh, oh no, actually, I didn't. I haven't been going for that. I've been going for more oak and then spruce accents. But yeah, that's why I did it for this one, is that I needed to mix it up a bit. So these bottom bits right here I am doing, uh, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. This is like a big, bulky roof, and that's why I kind of like it. It mostly uses full blocks rather than mostly stairs and slabs like my other roofs like like that one right there <laughs> so i'm gonna try to build it up and kind of show you all right and once we have by the way if you're wanting to build this roof between these logs is one two three four five six seven blocks so it's seven by seven and then on these blocks i do upside down stairs like that and then in the centers i do three slabs like that and while it's like that you place these all around. I don't know why I'm making this seem like a tutorial. None of you are probably going to build this, so I'll just keep building. <laughs> We're almost done with it here. Just got to add these accents on. I just did that to make divide the color up a bit because there's a lot of spruce going on up here. Um, and then after this, what? Oh man, I turned down my render distance even, and I'm still getting these. Insane lag spikes. It's only when I look towards the comment room. I'm, I'm telling you guys, as much as it is nostalgic to have all them comments in there and all you OG viewers that commented back in the day, I may have to transfer them to books because this is just... It's just knowing that I'm going to be playing on this world for here on out. It's just I got to do something about it. Uh-oh. Oh, I slept. Okay. We don't have anything coming down to attack us. All right. So what do we do next? Will I have enough blocks? I hope so. This is the final use of all my spruce logs i had so many spruce logs in this world and i've just been using them up by the all these roofs uh so at the end of each tower you make you got to record the last bit okay we got those and then i think i don't know how many i go up here i'd say about two or three one two huh i remember i put a oak wood plank on top i think that's it and then three is it done Actually, we're not done. <laughs> we have a lot to do down at the bottom, but let's go take a look. And I jump in my... Oh, did I leave my craft? Uh-oh. Oh, no, I got it. Okay. Uh, into the... Don't squash a fish. All right, there we go. I hope I didn't mess up on anything. Actually, yeah, I need to go up there and put windows. Um, does it look good? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to make it great. It's not as tall, but again, I didn't want to add the extra section because it, it would look too tall and skinny. Remember, this is going to be a corner of a big mansion, so there's probably going to be other towers in this mansion that are going to be taller. I think I want a center one that will go up around there. <laughs> you think that would be the best one for the clock tower, but I actually want that to have use in it, like an actual room. So, oh man, this is going to be a great addition to our place. Well, as much as I actually want to keep working on it, this is our wood box. It looks like a lot of wood, but there is no wood. It's just planks and stuff. We have no oak wood, which is the main ingredient to this house, and we have no spruce wood. That sucks. That sucks. And we have no glass. The glass I need. I tried white stained, but just normal glass looks best for this. Um, but we can do the clock dials or hands. But other than that, in between episodes, I'm going to have to go on a huge wood gathering spree, and I'm not looking forward to it. It looks weird how it's blue. I had to turn down my render distance because that room is messing with me so much. Uh, we could finish these as well, but I don't have any oak left, and that is a lot of the accent stuff, as you can see what's left. So, again, this will most likely be finished in the next episode. And next episode, I actually want to start on making the whole 
maybe the frame of the house who knows i might just do the go with it i'm not going to actually make a frame of it and build up i might just do my go with it method i always mention the go with it method. it's just where you don't really plan it out you just keep building so we do so i want one of them trading villagers i'm gonna go look again i just discovered something very annoying and now it's driving me nuts it looks cool but imagine if we went up one more section then we could see the clock tower. Oh, this is going to, this is going to make me want to make it go up one more. <sighs> yeah, what am I thinking? Even when I'm back here, it just looks too short. We need to add the other section. Uh, we're going to do it. I'm not going to do it now because that roof was a pain in the butt. <laughs> it sucks I'm going to tear it down and redo it. But I have the resources for it. I'm just going to have to go up one more section. Why is Spud in my graveyard? I've been noticing this lately. Ed is out too! What the heck? How are all of my... Wait. Ed's... That's not Ed. Wait, this is Ed. Hold on a second. Ed, your name's Ed. Who was that? An imposter? <laughs> oh, he's red. Oh, that means he's glitched. That means... Yeah, this is that one I found. Um, He didn't have an owner, though. Uh... Honestly, I would love to build over here. Look at this just view you have here. And it's a savanna with green leaves. You won't have this unless you have an extremely old world like mine that's glitched out. I don't know what biome this is considered right now. It's probably maybe a plains or a forest. But man, I love this. We should build a bit. Okay. I know we're having fun at our place. Oh, and you have to rain. Um, but in the future, around like episode 300 or something, I've, I've been thinking about this because I, this world's never going to end. Should we do, like, maybe a 50-episode spree of where we pack up our things at our house, grab all of our animals, and just go out on a trip, build a completely new civilization, and have fun and all that, and then after that 50 episodes or something, head back home and just continue where we left off. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? But then again, I would bring all my animals, but I wouldn't bring anything with me that's powerful. We would have to have, like, a complete restart. I keep forgetting about our new features here. I can't wait to use them. Yes, I'm using my no my my iron cooking or <laughs> or cooking furnaces for my food. They're gonna be a little charred, but it's all right. Um, and I also learned that uh, where is it? Like this, the smithing furnace and the normal furnace and the smoker will all be able to smell everything the same. But this will be able to smell ores faster. This will just smelt everything at a medium pace and the smoker will smelt food faster which is okay and I also read another comment it's got me thinking okay craft oh all oh that would have been helpful okay now I know <laughs> all right anyway I'm gonna to do today's comment question of the day today's comes from Billy Lamont, no. Nolan Castle, no. Yannick Fernando. Hey Dallas, what is your favorite superhero fight scene on a TV show? Now, when you mention TV show, I haven't really watched any superhero TV show. I assume you mean just like any movie or something like that. Um, I have quite a few actually. One is the Punisher, the original Punisher with Thomas Jane. And the ending where he attacks the mansion. Go watch that if you haven't already. Uh, you gotta be a certain age to watch it. No, no, you don't. No, not really. A lot of blood and stuff, but, you know, that's the Punisher for you. Um, another one, I had three in mind, and I just ran around trying to remember what the second one I thought of, but I couldn't think of it, but I finally thought of it. Uh, Spider-Man 3, the one that most people didn't like. I always liked the ending where Spider-Man fought the Sandman and Venom, and Harry finally worked together. That was always nostalgic to me, and I always loved that one. So that's another one. And then, wait. You can now crouch on these without falling through. Is that just because... I don't know if they fixed that or is that... Was already... I don't know. <laughs> um, and then the other one is Captain America in Captain America Winter Soldier when he was in the elevator. He was in a cramped elevator with, like, I don't know, eight other guys. And they were, like, beefy guys. They were, like, special ops. And they just all fought him, fought him in that confined space, and he won. I always loved that one, too. Uh, those are probably my favorites. I'm probably missing a few because I got a lot. Uh, but, yeah. Um, I got some work to do. I'm going to try to... You think, you think it should? Yeah. 
It looks tall when you're going down there by, but when you're far away like this, it looks small. So yes, it does need to be lifted. Oh man, I really don't want to do it, but I have to. Ah, it'll look way better. So I'll do that in between episodes. Get that lifted up. It'll be up there. And then we can start on the mansion. That'll be fun. See you guys there. Bye-bye.